Thank you, Dr. Arman. Greetings and welcome to all who are present in this webinar or meeting, particularly the presenters, the audience. I express my thanks and gratitude to everyone. My subject of talk is Biobank Integrating Clinical Research. Clinical research develops new and improved methods for the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of diseases. Biobanks reserves biological samples and associated data that can be used for clinical research. Clinical research is essential for developing new and improved methods for the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of diseases. Biobanks are collection of biological samples and associated data that can be used for clinical research. The integration of clinical research and biobanks has the potential to accelerate the pace of scientific discovery and improve the lives of patients. In this uh, slide, you can see the position of a biobank. We really collect samples from patients. First of all, we take consent from the patient. We collect the associated data, and then we collect the biospecimen. These biospecimen are and the data are processed and stored in the biobank. And then we go for research. Research gives us the results. And from the results, we go for scientific publication. And this cycle goes on repeatedly. This is our Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Medical University logo. Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Medical University is the pioneer institution of Bangladesh. It is situated in the heart of the capital and a leading organization capable of individual clinical trial. Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Medical University is a contract research organization that regularly performs clinical research for academic as well as innovation. Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Medical University has a complete setup for clinical trial, required expertise, and diverse patients. Besides, BISMU is a member of Global Academic CRO, one of the very few CROs that is operated on a not-for-profit model with good potential to incorporate academic and clinical research based on the data from the biobank. Why we are arguing for biobank in this region? In this map, you can see Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, and our neighboring countries. The current population of Bangladesh is around 170 million. If we include Nepal and Bhutan, the total population of this country or region is 171 million or near 200 million. Though the Bangladesh has a small area, it has almost 50 ethnic group of population which promotes the population diversity in Bangladesh. Besides, Nepal and Bhutan also has number of SARS population diversity. As I have told in the previous slide, our region has a diverse population, which is a strong point here as this diverse population also provides diverse genetic makeup 
which can help researchers to identify new genetic risk factors for diseases as well as to develop more personalized treatments and more importantly repurpose already invented molecules in broad set of population. Large sample size, which is very important, allows us, our researchers, to conduct large sample size studies which are essential for generating statistically significant results. Representation of diverse populations. As the population is diverse in terms of ethnicity, socioeconomic status, and other factors, the diversity is important for ensuring that medical research is representative of the global population. Potential to improve global health, research conducted here can have a significant impact on global health as many of the diseases that are common in this region are also common in other parts of the world. NCDs, for example, a high burden of non-communicable diseases such as heart disease, cancer, stroke, diabetes are prevalent in this region. As we all know that the genetic makeup is one of the crucial elements of the biobank data. So along with the other data, the genetic makeup will help to understand the disease progression and outcome in the one of the largest dry, diverse population group of the world. Overall, South Asia's large population is a valuable asset for medical research. By conducting research on South Asian populations, researchers can help to improve the health of people around the world. Again, I am arguing for this region. The diaspora from this region are a significant amount of population in different countries of the world. For example, this map shows that the 7.5 million people born in Bangladesh were living in different countries. The statistics were, is from 2017. So for global upbringing of the biobank data and the understanding the health and diseases of this region of the South Asia is crucial. Regarding personalized medicine and biobank, medical care is no longer a one size fits all endeavor. The goal of personalized medicine is to tailor medical treatments to individuals based on their individual characteristics. Researchers and doctors both rely heavily on biorepositories to provide them with high quality samples that they need to advance personalized medicine and to treat patients. Analysis of sample data based on the biobank for this region will enable us to detect genetic differences in individuals which can improve therapy decisions and success not only for this region but also the whole world. Dear audience, I think from my small presentation, you will be definitely convinced that my argument for establishing a biobank in this region is definitely a logical issue and a time demanded issue. So I will definitely make an appeal to everyone who has the capability to help us to start a new biobank 
in the Bangladesh, particularly centering Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Medical University, from where our neighboring countries will be definitely benefited. And this South region will be a great beneficiary. With this words, I want to finish my talk. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.